Well, good morning. It's uh, Friday. Um, praise God. Um, we have a special speaker this week. That's Amen. True. And you have and, men's prayer breakfast. And prayer, tomorrow, prayer, prayer, Bible men's stuff. prayer breakfast tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. And Marty's going to be there uh, sharing a little bit there. And then he's going to be here Saturday night on the uh, 6th. And uh, he'll at be 6 p.m. at 6 p.m. be ministering. And then Sunday morning ministering. And uh, Marty was with Brother Hagen. His name's Marty and, Blackwelder. Yep. Yeah, uh, and excellent minister of the gospel we're excited this is the first time we've had him in our church That's and right. um, this is coming through pastor rich and so we're excited about him coming and uh, bringing a word amen yeah. uh, he, Allow, he's uh, a holy ghost man he is a holy ghost man as a matter of fact he had asked me the other day you know what do you want to minister on pastor and i go man i want you to be led by the spirit of god amen yeah. i want you to hear the spirit what the because every time we bring someone in it's always our intention they hear from god to bring a word amen, amen. a fresh word in due season yes. amen well Praise you know God. we're always saying the holy spirit knows everything yes do we believe that yeah, but then he knows the needs of all the people yes he does so he knows what needs to be ministered amen. so, so you come all right to that amen today our devotion is what if the person i'm struggling to forgive is me let me say that again what if the person i am struggling to forgive is me in psalms 32 verse 5 uh, he says, then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord and you forgave me of the guilt of my sins. Do you ever feel like sometimes the hardest person to forgive is actually you, you know, in you forgiving yourself? Have you ever done anything that brought guilt and shame on you? And all of us have. Have you ever said to yourself, I, I can't forgive myself? Well, the enemy will make sure you don't forget. Well, absolutely. Bring it, he brings it absolutely. back up, even though God's forgiven you yeah. and said he's moved as far as the east is from the west. Amen. He can't see that sin. Whenever we mess up, the enemy will make sure you re remember it. But you know, Marsha, I think that we don't think forgiveness is possible sometimes for what we've done, for a person like me. We see ourselves that way. And I don't think that, you know, we, I know people that have done things that have, are really um, bad in their lives. Uh, it's it's not just the forgiveness it, and not just the guilt. It's the shame. Then many yeah. times that is there with that that they can't seem to get past. And it's like that guilt and shame holds on to them all of their life. Mm -hmm. You know, and it, it hinders you from being able to receive the blessings of God because again, your well, your your mind's going to, it's saying I'm not worthy. I, I'm Lord, I'm not worthy of receiving those things. I've done these things, and God said, "What things are those? I've already forgiven you of those things." Yeah, you know? forgotten yeah, yeah. Because He said He would. But the know? concept of forgiving, you know, this the concept of forgiving ourselves actually is not in the Bible. The Bible never says forgive yourself because really we don't have the capacity to forgive ourselves. No, because, Only God can forgive us. Mm -hmm. What we have to do is accept His forgiveness in our life. And that's, that's when we feel forgiven. That's when we receive forgiveness. That's and that's right. when guilt and shame is, is taken away. Because we don't have the right to say, I don't have the right to say to myself, I, I forgive myself. Yeah. Right. Well, it's, I didn't it's, like, it's like the, our notes say here that since we're not the judge, we can't pardon ourselves. We can't. We can't. Only a judge can pardon you. So, but God has already pardoned us. And everything that God, I mean, God has done for us, we need to say, I receive it just like salvation. See, forgiveness comes through salvation, okay? Mm -hmm. Who purchased salvation for us? Jesus Christ. G only Jesus. Only you know, Jesus. The, uh, the Bible says in Ephesians, for by grace uh, are we saved through faith, and that not our, of ourselves, lest any man should boost. Mm -hmm. I forgave myself. I, I was able to... Uh, justify, yeah, yeah, justify, justify myself. Justify my, yeah. what I did. Yes, what I did. And no, we, every man, for all have sinned and come short of the glory. Every person. So the only salvation or forgiveness we have comes through the work of Christ wow, on the cross. That, that's good because the Lord just dropped this in my heart. I think sometimes that's why when we do something wrong or we're in an argument with someone, 
We try to justify yeah. why we feel like yeah, we did. Yeah, why we did it. Yeah. And instead of asking for asking forgiveness, forgiveness and yeah. go on, and you know, with another human being, yeah. especially, we may even try to justify it to God yeah. why I did this. Why God, they, I did they did this to me, and so I felt justified in doing this yeah, back to that's them. Right, and yet that's not true. No, no, that's not true. We have to do what David said here. David said, "Then." I acknowledged my sin. Amen. See, we have to acknowledge our sin to you, God. To who? To To God. God. You don't have to confess that to anybody else but to God. And did not cover up my iniquity. I did not make excuses. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord. And you, what? Forgave me of my guilt guilt. Of my sin. Amen. Praise Hallelujah. God. Praise God. Forgive yourself. Forgive today. yourself. No, don't. God's already done. He's already done. You accept His forgiveness. Just accept, that's what I mean. Amen. That's yes. what I mean. Praise Amen. God. Well, God bless you. We love you. Have a blessed week. See you Sunday.